Hey, good morning. I had a friend contact me and was asking about what kind of tool I recommend for my clients as far as um, writing down what you eat and write down what your um, exercise is for that day and writing down how you're feeling and writing down your goals. And so after giving a little bit of thought, I realized that um, I don't recommend any tool in particular for this because what I found is that most people will use them for a little while and then they kind of drift away from it. And I think it's because we don't want to feel so restricted in what we're doing. And it kind of feels like, um, for me, it kind of feels like Big Brother is watching me, making sure that I fill in every day what my workout was, what I ate, what I drank, you know, how I felt, all these things that I felt like if I didn't do it that day, and then time went by and I look back, I felt like I failed in some way without filling out that information. And so what I do recommend for my clients is that they find a journal, a notebook or something that kind of, you know, kind of sparks their excitement for um, writing things down or doodling or whatever, you know, it is, it's going to, it'll take for you to stay, get yourself maybe motivated. Motivation's always there. We just have to, we just have to unpeel it a little bit sometimes, wake it up. Um, but what I realized is that my sister-in-law, who is like crazy creative and incredibly gen generous and always, she surprised me back in 2012. I can't believe it's been that long with this journal and in this journal, which is adorable. I love this. In this journal, she posted all, or she pasted, excuse me, pasted all kinds of, um, motivational quotes and, you know, like little exercises and, um, just the coolest stuff in here that would keep me interested in opening it up and seeing what, you know, new thing was pasted in there. This particular quote says, life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. I love that because, you know, we are who we are. Sometimes we just have to have to dig a little bit deeper, you know? And so anyway, I realized that I had done that for a while and then I had probably gotten distracted by something shiny and stopped journaling like I was. And so starting today, I'm going to get back into this notebook and I'm going to start writing down some things and whether it's what I did for my workout or whether it's what my goals and my plans are or what my weight is or what, and none of that. I, I really just want to, whatever the feeling is that day, I want to put it down because um, it's important for us to be engaged in our thoughts and to not be afraid of our thoughts when we're alone. And sometimes writing something down, it kind of, it makes space in our minds so that we can receive the goodness that's out there. So if you're feeling a little bit, a little anxiety, a little bit of stress, a little bit of something that's like that underlying current, maybe jot it down and just get it out and then let go of it and then see what happens from there. So um, anyway, if you try it out, let me know what you think and let me know what your method is for, um, for this tool and getting through all of this. Maybe it's just a day-to-day -day tool. Maybe it's you going once a month. But um, if you like it, pass it along to somebody else who might find it worthwhile to use the same practice. So anyway, I hope you guys are healthy and happy and you're staying active and, um, and you're well. And there's, there's my pup. I know you guys love seeing Lily. She's watching over the yard. She's a good watchdog. I love you guys. Take care. See ya.